Hello everybody and welcome back once again to Ballincraig Estate. So £38,456 of sold milk once again. So definitely outweighing the expenses which is really good. Uh, it, it does appear that having this amount of cows is just brilliant, providing you can keep up with them. Uh, I mean 104 is tough because of the amount of um, food they actually do require. For example we have 70,000 litres of hay and 32,000 litres of grass, these are not even full, 31,000 litres of straw, and no power food, so if we had power food as well, it would be even more challenging. So yeah, it's definitely uh, worth doing, but it's, it's pretty tough to keep up with them. I think we should probably just have the uh, cows to be honest, not the sheep as well, but I mean, uh, both are good, it just makes it even harder having two animal types. Anyway, Today, as you'll already know from watching the previous video, we have to continue with the silage. I've just realised it's actually full. I thought I had emptied it in the previous video, clearly not. We need to have two tractors doing this, because we need to keep pulling forward, and then the other tractor needs to take it over to the tipping point. Uh, ooh, that tractor's probably a bit too small. Good tractor. Possibly. Actually, maybe... Maybe it is big enough. It's just because it's two-wheel drive. It looks smaller. It is a 699, so it shouldn't be too small. But yeah, the problem is the place to put it. That is a big issue. I'm hoping we do have a secondary silage pit, but I don't think we do actually. So we may have to just shift the other silage first. I'll look into it. But yeah, let's just get this attached out of the way first. I was actually considering doing this part of the series as a live stream, just because I know it is a very uh, slow and long-winded process doing all of this. Somehow I need to turn around. How am I going to turn around? Let's just hope it opens out. Oh, a grass field. That's a good place to turn around. I might actually have to get a placeable silage pit, because I... I really do think we only have one. I don't think there's a BGA. The BGA would tend to have its own silage pits, but yeah, I don't think you can sell anything. I will check, but I'm pretty sure we're on our own. Yes, I mean, there could be a, a silage pit over here, but I think it's unlikely. Oh, we're caged in. Okay, that's not one. No, no, no. Okay. So yes, I think we're probably, like I say, going to have to uh, look into putting a silage pit up. I've actually just downloaded a shed as well. We've got a shed to put up, hopefully in this area. But we might actually turn this into the silage area. I'm not sure. So bear with me, and we'll see what we can do. Okay, so what I've done is I've taken a look on all the mod sites, and I could not find any kind of placeable silage pit. I could find quite a few placeable storage sheds for putting all the crops into, but not actually for fermenting the chaff into silage. So the approach we're going to take today is to move this silage out of here. There probably isn't too much in here anyway, uh, so it shouldn't be too difficult. We've got the big buckets. This bucket is going to have to move. Um, and yeah, we're going to put it into the new shed. So. It's probably a good opportunity now to put this new shed up. I'm hoping it will fit in here. It is actually designed to be a vehicle shed and a crop store. So it's actually uh, not a bad thing at all. In fact, pretty perfect for us. The issue, of course, is, yeah, trying to place it. Because um, the ground is not level. And it would be really good if the ground was level. But it isn't, of course, so we're just going to have to live with it. I might have to extend the concrete pad. Although really, it really isn't suitable for it at all. Even that isn't that level really. Well, what I'll do is I'll try it out and uh, in a minute we'll place it. Right, so things are not going too well. Um, we can't place it because it's just way too rough. This field here is perfect, but two issues, one we don't own it, and secondly it's grass. So we're going to have to put some concrete into here if we were to buy this and turn it into just basically some storage area. 
not even somewhere we visit very often, just an extra piece of land. Uh, we'll cut the grass and we'll use that for bales and all that kind of stuff. So yes, that is what we'll do. Because unless I was delete, to delete some of these uh, other buildings, we couldn't really put them in. Deleting some of the other buildings is actually a strong possibility. The only other alternative is just to basically not put the extra building in and just dump it all into, for example, into here, the workshop, uh, which isn't the best approach. I'll tell you what, we'll, uh, we'll grab a bit more, because I know the cows do still require some. We'll see what's left after this full bucket load, because this is 4,000 litres. This will be 4,000. Okay. Going to have to just <laughs> make sure that bucket is level. There we go. So yeah, uh, 3984. It is a 4,000 litre capacity, but it never fills. So, I would have thought the cows will take this, but we've still got loads left, so even if they did, it wouldn't really help us that much. Okay, I'll do a few more. Well, I'm still going. Four buckets, maybe five buckets later, and the actual fill gauge for the silage is going incredibly slowly. So there is a possibility we're going to fit all of this into their trough. So I'll just keep at it and hopefully we can empty the whole thing. That would be ideal if we do. Perfect, it's empty, brilliant. So it is possibly a 100,000 litre capacity. We filled it 99,000, so uh, it's, it's close. There might be a few thousand in it, but we don't mean to concern ourselves with that anymore because it is done. It's totally empty and it is ready to accept some, uh, some site or some chaff. So that bucket I think will probably sell, the one that's in there. Let's reset it for the time being. Because uh, I don't want to sell the wrong one accidentally, because I think they're actually called the exact same thing. The one for the skid steer and the, well, the other one which is for the front loader. So, uh, yeah, last thing you want to do is lose this one, because it's really handy to be here. Don't want to have to go and rebuy it. So this should now become very simple. Now, when I did this before, I got loads of people saying, oh, you're doing it wrong, you have to reverse the trailer in around the back. And I'm going to try it, but it's very tight. Very tight. So it might just be easier just to just tip it in the front. Um, yeah, so I think, you know, it would be easier to uh, start by putting it in the front. We might then uh, put the actual front barricade up and then start to load from the back at the end, but uh, yeah, with it being so empty, I think we'll be okay. And we probably won't even get enough anyway to totally fill it. It probably won't even matter. Anyway, the good news is this tractor is capable and this trailer of uh, getting into these very tight spaces. It's still quite tricky, but it is definitely the right setup. So I want to go fairly thin on the ground in here, not massive piles. That sort of thing. Uh, the other good thing about this trailer is it can tip right up without going through the roof. Although, to be fair, it is a fairly tall building. And then, yeah, the tricky part is now going to be reversing back and getting set up again. I'm hoping to put it on Follow Me alongside, but uh, we may have to take another headland off before that. Just to play it safe. So if we put it here, then I should be able to reverse back. Same tractor, <laughs> and then yeah, we'll pick it up. Okay, yeah, that should be easy. Should be, not necessarily. Good. Right, off we go. Another full load on the way.
so far, so good. It's actually going really well. We have uh, 56,000 litres exactly in here. It doesn't look it. There must be a, a large amount of space in here for storing the chaff or the silage. Um, I don't know what the capacity is, but it must be something fairly high. Looking at it, it must be about half a million litres. Um, but I don't think... Well, actually, we might find out, because we've got fill number one as well, which is going to go into there, which I'll probably do as a live, a live stream. A live stream? It'd be a lemon stream next. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> we're going to do, hopefully, uh, a live stream, finishing off the, uh, the maze here, the silage. We're going to finish this field today, though. Very important that we do that, because otherwise there will be way too much stuff to do. But this setup is working very well, and actually, I'm very pleased with how this forager is working because you really don't need to have a self propel one with this amount of land if you've got something like this. I have always overlooked it in the past, thinking, oh, we need to rent a really expensive forager if we do maize, but no, <laughs> you really don't have to. Uh, which is probably blindingly obvious to most people. Never really appreciated how useful one of these is, and actually how quickly it can get the job done. It's munching through this in no time. It's doing a really good job. And actually, our very small tractors as well, they're doing a really good job too. It's taking the load now off this tractor, what is it, 690 or something? Or 390, 390T. Um, because see, yeah, obviously before it was turning the trailer as well as powering the forager, which must have been pretty tough on it. But it did a good job. It could still do it. Having it set up this way as well means we'd have to keep taking the trailer off and reattaching it to the other tractor. So this is definitely faster. The only faster thing you could do is have a, a real person carting or course play, of course. But I don't, I don't think course play uh, will work terribly well on this map with it being so height, but I don't know, it might do. It might work well. If you've set up a course plan on this map, please let me know. Successfully, that is. Not if you've set it up and failed. Um, if you've actually got the tractors to empty into the sheds or something. I'd love to know. Anyway, it's taking much longer now to fill because obviously we're working into the middle, into the centre of the field, so it does slow things down quite a bit. More turning and all that. But I think it's not going to take us too much longer to do this. There's not as much here as it looks. I'm going to have to unload in a second. Uh, I'm thinking, I think there's probably about 150,000 litres of chaff here in this first field. So if we can get about 250 overall, 300, that would be more than enough. That would be a fortune if we sold it. There's no BGA, so we'd have to just sell it you know, in the background secretly, if you know what I mean. But we could do it. All I have to do is get a price for it, if there is a price, or an average price. And then we can do it through the XML files. So, it's not wasted. We don't want to use this all. But actually, the rate that the cows do use it and the amount they require, we're going to be using a fair bit of this to convert it into the milk money. It's also not bad either, the routine I've got into, reversing it through here. Actually, that's probably the first time I've properly messed up. It needs to be much closer to the other side to get a swing into there. Okay, that's, that's alright. That's good. Try and drive over here and get it more into the left hand side because it's very full up on the right at the moment. Oh no, no that's not good. I don't want it to really mound up in one place trying to avoid. But that seems to be okay. So I'm going to crack on and uh, well yeah we should be done fairly soon hopefully. Set it up again. There's a few missed pieces. This is mainly because of the collision for the gate uh, but anything which is missed I'll come back to later. Except for maybe with a bit of the gate there we might not do that because it would mean closing all the gate and everything for next to nothing. But there is a piece at the top which definitely has to be done. Oh no! Didn't turn it on. It does help. Right, okay, let's continue.
just wrapping things up, just finishing off. Uh, it should all fit into here, definitely. It's only 32% full. And we've just got a few pieces to clear up as well. You can see the bits over there, as I mentioned a second ago. Or a minute ago, <laughs> more like. Uh, yeah, so I'll make it as neat as possible. There goes the main chunk. Should be able to back up and get the final piece there. But I think, uh, possibly, field number one is larger than field seven. It doesn't look it, but it certainly felt larger when I was drilling it. So, uh, well, it doesn't really matter, actually, because it's not going to be time-lapsed or anything. We'll just go at it at a leisurely pace in a live stream. Uh, chat about various stuff. We'll see what comes through the chat on the live stream, see what people have got to say. And I actually think more time will be spent, you know, replying to these comments while we're doing it than... Uh, you know, focusing on the job itself, because it's, it's a very easy job. Wow. The braking there was... Well, we were going downhill, but yeah, it was uh, slow. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Got a lot of weight on the back, really. Hang on, what's all this? But no, these are very nice tractors. And I'm very pleased that we did put them back into the series. Because uh, they are definitely much more uh, fitting than anything larger. Okay, let's try and get this. It did say we're going to leave it, but it would seem a shame. Okay, so we're done. Good. Let's fold this thing up and we will jump into the other tractor, unload it, see how much we've got, and then we'll call it a day. Well, and here we have uh, five 1,229 litres. It will be a, a whole number, a round number, at the moment, but obviously that's going to knock it off. Not that it matters. It doesn't matter at all. But I think we've got it fairly even. That's not going to work, is it? Is that going to get in there? No, it's going to crash. Yes, we've got it fairly even, which is nice. Start tipping. It's only going to take a second to tip. There we go. So, if I just pull forward out of here, we're going to be using it again next time, obviously. Plenty of work for it yet. Over in field one. We have got 103,238. I'm sure I said about 150,000. How wrong I was. Oh well, doesn't matter. So that's the size of field one, that's the size of field seven. Actually, I would say they're very similar looking at it. They do look very similar. So, it's just in here, there it is, big field, tall crop, it's all to come. So, yeah, we never got to place the barn, um, I do want to put it in, this one here. I want to put it in somewhere, we might have to create another yard, like I said, in a different field, a field which is very flat, which would be field number, what were we looking at there? Must have been about field 12, I think, 12 or 13. So, yeah, we might do it. It wouldn't be a yard as such, we won't be creating another yard, it would just be a track with a barn at the end, in the middle of a grass field. But that is uh, something we can think about more in the future, possibly in the live stream. That's it for today, thank you so much for watching, hope you enjoyed the video, and until the next one, see you again very soon. Bye for now.